Peru undoubtedly has one of the most compelling collection of ancient ruins that can be found anywhere on Earth. A vast collection of astonishingly well-preserved, incredibly ingenious, complex-designed ancient settlements. Infrastructure, irrigation, agricultural designs, with countless others. Often incorporated or accomplished through the creation of precisely executed, purpose-built structures with incredible features to accomplish built-in functions of astonishing ancient contraptions. Contraptions modern man has not only learned about through the building of these sites, but thanks to the brilliant condition of much of ancient Peru, the work of the as forementioned polygonal civilization, one of four lost civilizations which we have personally identified here on the channel in prior videos, Feats of engineering which enabled us to use identified methods and signature stonework to ultimately verify the work of separate civilizations. Which due to modern belief systems and the profit and control this provides to those who profit from said societal infrastructures is actively hidden by a mainstream academia's morally destitute funding structure. Yet, regardless, these sites eventually deciphered and understood by modern studies. Moré, for example, is an ancient ruin that displays the levels of advanced knowledge that the builders once possessed. These step-like designs are also found at Ole Te Tambo among others, although appearing as the steps of giants, were in reality used to acclimatize different plant species often types of crops, herbs, and food producers to a different altitude to where they were native, allowing this ancient civilization to take food-producing plant types high into the mountains. These extraordinary ancient builds, studied by countless talented individuals for many years, have now been decoded and understood in depth, in particular the infrastructure and the fact that it is unquestionably far too advanced to be publicly claimed as the work of the Incans. Thus, this has culminated in the academic world being forced to not only admit this, but do so in such a way that anyone who continues to press the issue soon realizes it is not only a confession in regards to their awareness of past, now lost, once highly advanced ancient civilizations but is a broad categorization of said ruins as pre-Incan. And just like the incredible network of water channels previously covered, which connect many ancient settlements which allowed water to be pumped from places of abundance to places of drought, providing precious water supplies to countless ancient sites, the Yachtails are yet another collection of incredible ancient structures which you are unlikely to hear about in mainstream historical studies. Yachtails came in many shapes and sizes. These incredible builds were once enormous freezers, not only used to create ice in cooler climates, but to store it during the hotter times of the year. These miraculous inventions, from spiral designs, wind tower designs, and ingenious vent placement designs, all assured cool air would continuously flow into vast underground portions of the structures. This either created ice or allowed ice to be stored and kept in a frozen state for an impressively long time. Refrigeration and the benefits of such were unquestionably understood by the builders of these structures. Yet modern utilization of the same methods of food storage, that being refrigeration via modern technologies, is only a very recent development, with much of the world, until the turn of the century, still salting meats. The question then is, how did this ancient civilization know about the benefits of cool storage? How did they understand how to build these structures? Where did such ideas and ultimate utilizations originate from? Was this knowledge possessed by an even older lost civilization? one in which the members responsible for the Yaktails were once members of? Yaktails, ancient refrigerators, are undoubtedly an incredible aspect of Peru's ancient relics. Relics which we find highly compelling.